This video series is called Stuck, Stuck in, in Traffic with an Economist. Our objective isn't to try to mm -hmm. ban the car. Our objective is to try to improve mobility, mm -hmm. right? And try to improve travel time. How do you, you calculate lost time? You're sitting here yeah. like this, and you're worried about getting to daycare on time to pick up your kids, so there's angst. For some people, that angst translates into income. Just imagine that you are a plumber, and you're trying to get across town to get to your next job, mm -hmm. and you're stuck in traffic. So as a result of traffic congestion, you only get six jobs done in a day instead of eight, and that's real money. So it's impacting the economy on different fronts. One third of Canadians live close enough to a major thoroughfare that they are impacted health-wise um, by the tailpipe emissions that come from congestion. Basically the government's picking up the bill for uh, for the health costs and the consumers picking up the bill for higher prices. But and goods. you're wasting time. And you're wasting your time. We're gonna go for <laughs> coffee and bagels. Over time, across cities in the world, when you build new infrastructure, generally it reduces traffic congestion for a very short amount of time. Am I turning left here? Yep. The problem isn't that we have too many cars. The problem is we have too many cars on this road at this time. You know what an HOV lane is? Not sure. HOV lane is a high occupancy vehicle lane. Right. So a carpool lane. Okay. A hot lane says you can either have two people or more, or you can pay the toll. Okay. A hot lane offers more flexibility because one person in their car mm -hmm. could choose to go in by paying a yeah. couple of bucks. 18 bridges connect Montreal. So if you actually told them, so the toll could be higher at 8 a.m. than it is at 6 a.m. or 10 a.m. I think politically it might be unpopular. It will take them 20 minutes to get home instead of 45 and they'll get to see their kids sooner or get to see their spouse sooner or leave work earlier. How do you run a pilot project on 18 bridges at once? Well, they could be regular tolls or the prices mm -hmm. change by the time of day, but you do it on 18 bridges and you do it for long enough as the full experiment. We are stopped. How do we make it fair for everybody? People across income spectrums tend to gain here. Let's suppose you have bridge tolls or you have hot lanes. It may be, it may be higher income people that choose to pay it. But when they do, they make the road emptier for mm -hmm. other people. Okay. But the other thing is, a lower or middle income person might use it every once in a while because mm -hmm. they just got to get back to that dentist appointment at the right time or they got to mm -hmm. get back to pick up their husband at the airport or whatever. Or you could think that maybe they'll have to pay an hour right. less of daycare per right. day. Yeah. We just want to improve mobility because what's deeply unpleasant is sitting here white knuckling it. We're not trying to suggest that people shouldn't use their cars. We're trying to get them to use their cars in a different way. 